The multi-wavelength detector in your NGC uses deuterium and tungsten lamps, and eventually they're going to need to be replaced. When performing a lamp change, it is strongly suggested that you wear gloves, because the oils from your skin will degrade the lamp over time and cause premature failure. So let's start by gloving up. To begin, make sure your NGC chromatography system is shut down. Next, disconnect the inlet tubing line to the UV cell and the outlet tubing line from the conductivity monitor. Loosen the screws on the front of the module, then firmly grasp the screws and slide the module out of the NGC. Now, locate the door on the left side of the multi-wavelength detector module. Using a Phillips screwdriver, loosen the door screw and remove the door. You will now be able to access both of the lamps. The lamps may be hot, so use caution when removing them. To remove the lamp, loosen the collar on the cable plug of whichever lamp you are replacing. Once loose, disconnect the plug by pulling upwards. With a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, Remove the top and bottom screws from the lamp casing and remove the old lamp. Next, carefully insert the replacement lamp into the socket and align the screw holes on the lamp casing. To prevent confusion, the deuterium lamp has a seven pin connector while the tungsten lamp uses a five pin connector. Now, Grab your 2.5 millimeter hex wrench again and tighten the screws to secure the lamp. Then insert the cable plug and tighten the collar. Replace the access door and tighten the door screw. Now you are ready to slide the multi-wavelength detector module back into its bay. Be careful not to pinch any tubing between the module and the NGC frame while you're sliding the module in. Secure the module using the holding screws. Finally, reconnect the inlet tubing line to the UV cell and the outlet tubing line to the conductivity monitor. With the lamp replaced, you are now ready to restart your NGC and undergo a short auto calibration step for the multi-wavelength detector module. Once the calibration finishes, you're ready to get back to work. We hope we've helped. But if you ever have questions about any of your BioRad products, please don't hesitate to contact us. Just send an email to support at biorad.com.